Bid to buy. I'm a TJ. Looted posters. Let's make it make sense. Bid to buy. Woo! You got to be a joke. Hey! Now, let's see some bid. They got me on EBT. We got it on Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep South Cutlery. Got another one of my elephant toes on the block here today. Uh, but we just wanted to go make a quick, real fast video about this thing. Uh, this is a case, 1995 Bradford Collection Series. It comes in a nice little pretty tin. 95 with the imitation tortoise shell. Look here, one of 70 made. One of 70, that's as rare as any of them. We have a few one of 100s in here, but I think it's the only one of 70. But there are some issues with this knife and with the celluloid. Uh, celluloid. Celluloid, let me spit it out right. So this is fake uh, tortoise shell, to be just simple and blunt as we can get. Fake tortoise shell uh, because of some of our national standards. We can't use genuine tortoise shell. It has to be proven that it was old. Like I even know that to get to our mandolin picks and stuff like that, that the tortoise shell uh, can't be used any longer. So Case went about and made this beautiful knife uh, they actually, this one says it was made by Bluegrass Cutlery. I know some people say Queen made it. Queen may have, I know they had a weird little deal going there where Queen got the production, then they paid Bluegrass to do it. But the backside, y'all, looks fantastic. I don't see any chips or cracks or nothing there on the backside. You can see a few fingerprints. We've been looking at it and got an indention there like, like natural tortoise shell would have. I have some natural tortoise shell stuff around here. But check the front side out, y'all. It has cracked all like the pieces. It's right in there. Yeah, like it's busted. And and this thing has never been out of its nope. out of its out of its box. Let me show you something. We we've learned this this morning. That this celluloid will spontaneously self destruct. Y'all see this on there? This is a result of the gas from what we're reading that this celluloid celluloid material. I'm just gonna say fake tortoise shell, right? It's an outgassing exactly. That, that it, it causes the metal around it to corrode and rust. Now, when we got this thing out of the box, we bought this from a good friend of ours, and he told us exactly everything that was wrong with it. We didn't get surprised by this. But simply from being shipped from North Carolina to South Mississippi, this blade, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that you see line, line, that blade? Right there. You can see Y'all see that line on this blade? That from, where it was, from where it was shut, this this part right here that was... that was In the knife. In the knife. It was protected, yeah. And this was brown as it could that be. Was brown up top. Where's that? Where's that cover? It, that cloth that's behind you. That blue one right there. Check it out, y'all. This was a brand new sunshine cloth, and there's the brown gunk that came off of that knife with case paste. With case paste. No, nobody knows. We've read, we've studied, we've looked it up. Nobody knows why this stuff does it. But it's not just the elephant toes. Anything that case has, or any has. of them have, that have a celluloid material, they will spontaneously combust. Combust. Yeah, combust. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Corrode. <laughs> corrode. <laughs> it's corrosive to know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep a fire extinguisher by your fake tortoise shell knives, right? Because combustion <laughs> will happen. They will not spontaneously. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're just picking there. They will degrade. And, and and from what we're reading, it happens real fast. When, brother, when, when the guy that we got it from, when he bought it, he said he bought it, and the guy that sent it to him there was absolutely nothing wrong with the knife. And when he got it, he said it looked like the blades were burnt Wow! when he opened it up. And it from time, I was from the shipping time. And uh, he told me about it and asked me, you know, he knew that you collected them and said, would you be interested in it? And uh, I said, probably so, so. Hey, it's definitely a cool piece. I'm going to keep it. I don't know if I want to put it by my other elephant toes, though. Yeah. Bluegrass Cutlery Corporation, one year limited warning, 95 run out in 96. <laughs> of course it did. Well, shucks, all right? <laughs> But it's still a neat little piece. I know the case Christmas tree knives, they, they're, they, bad, to they're bad to do the same thing, degrade. Anytime you buy anything with a celluloid handle, ask, be, be sure and ask, has, has it started gassing? One way that I found out it starts gassing is you'll notice the shrinkage yep. between the bolsters and the scale. And you can tell that, that that's part of it as well. So. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot to look for when you deal with celluloid. And we've got a lot to learn too, y'all. If y'all have any tips, any tricks that y'all figured out or that bald experience sometimes is a, is a, is the the best learning stuff, but something that y'all found out about some of this stuff, these uh celluloid or fake tortoise, uh 
let us know. Leave a comment down below. We always want to learn more. We learn more every day. We see knives we've never seen every day, and we just, that's part of the fun of it, right? Deep South Cutlery, good times, great knives. Maybe this will help you in your endeavors of searching for what you want, right? Y'all, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.